Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today is my free daily signal for Tuesday, uh, February 5th, 2019. And I just posted a signal here for EURSEK, Euro Swedish Krona, and it's a buy. Okay, EURSEK buy. Now, if you look at the chart, there's something you need to note. Okay, we do have an up arrow right now, and according to this, it's hit a pretty strong level of support. Now, it hit this uh, area of support an hour ago, formed a ultimate signal. Okay, now this hour, it came to, it went up a little bit, came back down to the same level. So it's hitting this hard level of support right now. Okay, which is lined up with this previous level of resistance. Okay, so with that said, it's almost lined up with this one. So with that said, anytime you have a strong level of resistance that is broken, it becomes a support in the future. Okay, so all these indicators are based on previous levels of support and resistance. <clears throat> but we do see that we have a red histogram right here. I mean, this is going to a long downtrend. All right. I do predict that this will go down further. Okay. Probably down somewhere in this level. All right. But for now, it's going to shoot back up a ways and then come down again. If you go to the next higher time frame, the four hour chart, okay, this is important. You see that we have a red arrow and a red histogram showing, which means it's a, a strong bearish trend for me. Okay. But it kept shooting up even after the red arrows formed all right it did shoot down and then it came right back up to the same spot but now in the last four hours last couple hours is finally starting to shoot down all right and we have a red candle forming so this indicates to me that yes this will be going down in the next you know 10 to 12 hours you know maybe six eight let's say six to 12 hours okay this will be going down at first it needs to go up a ways and then it'll come back down. So what we want to do in this scenario is place a sell limit pending order. Okay. Now, where do we place a sell limit pending order? Okay. We need to find another area of resistance. All right. So what I would say, I don't think it'll go this high again, although it certainly could, but it'll probably go at least this high where this resistance is right here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line right here on these candles okay I'm gonna mark that as a level of resistance even though that's not a hundred percent solid that's still a pretty good level of resistance that we can bounce off of okay now I'm gonna predict that this price is gonna come back up touch this and come back down now it could go further and you might have a little bit of drawdown, but that's okay. No, no harm done. So eventually we know that this is going to be going down in the long run. And it might get caught in a range of market here for the next 24 hours and then shoot down. I don't know at this point in time, but I do know that it will be going down. All right. And I think like most of the Euro pairs are, be going, are going to be going into a downtrend anyhow. So with that said, how you place a trade is go ahead and hit new order and come right here and select pin in order and select sell limit and then the price on that red line which is right here says 10.4148 okay now this is a four digit currency pair I'm using traders way for this example <clears throat> so your pip counts can be a little bit different but anyhow I'm gonna, for take profit I'm just going to put down here where the price is approximately 10 point, oops, 10 point 30, Okay, that's good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then this will give me how many pips is this? Let's see here. First of all, let me delete this horizontal line. All right, so this will give me 198 pips. All right, $20 profit. So that's not too bad. All right, I can get in, get out, make a little bit of profit 
on the signal and the only thing is if you go this route you can catch pips on the way up if you want but if you go this route you know it's going to take you probably another four to six hours for this to trip okay it's going to be a slow process the market is moving kind of slow right now but once it does then you better catch a lot of pips on the way down and you can even if you want you know create a bigger take profit that's all up to you you know take profits right here you could put the take profit further down if you want or you could stay on the four hour chart like this and wait until this red histogram turns blue again that's going to take several days maybe in a couple weeks i don't know so looking at this it's probably going to a long downtrend for the next you know week or two i'm guessing at this point it's hard to say but we know it's going to a downtrend for how long we don't know so anyways uh if you have any questions about this or any of my other signals i post about 15 signals today it's quite a few so just contact me on facebook and let me know if you have any questions about how to trade this or any of my other signals and i'll be happy to help you okay there's a link below in the description of this video for my personal facebook also there is a link below for my private facebook group okay if you have not joined my facebook group please do so i ask that you uh just contact me on facebook first and let me know you want to join so i can get you added okay and with that i hope you have a wonderful day thank you